Hi Capricorn, welcome to your advanced 2020 forecast. Now, this is only a quick outlook, okay? So, I will be doing the full length forecast in October. And I'll be drawing one card for each month, general and general and uh, financial. And let's take a look. If I still have time to do your love 2020, then, you know, Oh, I will try. Oh, that actually flip. That's a bunch of cards, so. Follow what your heart says. You're only trying to limit yourself. Try to leave something that holds you back, even if it's someone that you're with. Or someone that you consider is, is, is your soulmate. Your life and your world will not be, should not be centered at this. And there are also some other things in the horizon that you should pay attention to. Be careful with someone who will be betraying you. But you will still be getting what you want and what you wish. And the universe will say yes. There will be some transitions and phases that you'll be going through. You just need to trust your own instinct to be your navigation. And you need to move a little bit further away from those people that you love. So that's the message of the angels for you. That's a bunch of cards that actually flip. Alright. Hopefully it's going to be one good message. Okay. Another one that flip. Uh, someone who's a fire sign will be moving out of your house or will be moving to a new place. Or someone who's a fire sign will be coming into your life to move in with you. God. Alright, let's take a look. January. Feb. March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, October. Oof. Huh. No, hold on. July, August, September, October, November, December. Anyway, this is only a quick outlook. You know, whatever that... Uh, Whatever that will be coming out in the uh, long forecast will still be different. So who knows? You know, some some signs, the ending of their 2019 is not going to be very good. But the start of 2021 will also be a good one. So, because you can see it at the, uh, the beginning and the end. A water sign that will be lying to you. Ooh. All right. The month of January for you looks like you will be taking an action about something that you've been planning, something that you've been like long pending. You've been thinking about this, but you don't have either the time, the guts, or the resources to start it, or you know that you don't have like. <clears throat> the, the right courage to <clears throat> to really push it through but the month of january for you will be full of actions for full of implementations and finally that you'll be manifesting the things that you really want and desire and this this is also a month that is big in communications okay um some of you will also be dealing with some fire signs in the month of january or you will be dealing with some major communications. Um, could be an issue, could be an opportunity. It could be like a, you know, like um, acquisition, or it could be that you will be investing in the fire industry. So fire industry is not just, you know, like fire station or something like that. It's internet, media, broadcasting, TV, you know, something like that, or creative media, web, something like that. All right, so. 
in the month of February for you, you'll be full of uh, strength, you'll be full of bravado, you'll be full of ideas, and you will be standing on your own, you'll be making a decision, and you, feel, you will be firm with it, and you feel like whatever happens, come what may, so what? You know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for it. And even if, they, you know, like, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead with it because I believe in it. And soon enough that you will be reaping the, uh, you know, the fruits of your labor. And you'll be very happy that, you know, your project will be coming into fruition. And you will be getting a bigger amount of money in return. And... Also, for those who's waiting for a uh, like a job opportunity, you will be getting hired or you will be getting in a dream job of yours in the month of February. And mind you that this is also the start of the Chinese New Year. So the start of the real New Year will be very good for you. <clears throat> and in the month of March, <clears throat> you'll be feeling happy and um, you'll be a little bit... Um, let's say more observant okay and you will be making a lot of good decisions for yourself and you feel like huh i made the right decision so when i become firm and when i feel like i believe in something it really happens so it will be more of a, of an awakening it will also be more of a you know a period where you will be relying more on yourself in yours in your own intuition and instinct and again in the month of March that you will still be dealing with another fire sign and there will be this is actually the the card of action okay that you'll be more into it you'll be more ready for the battle you'll be ready for any competition it's like a, you know like a go ahead with it okay you you're gonna be go-getter you're gonna be very positive optimistic and you will be like on fire all right the month of uh, March for you when it comes to your work. But in the month of April, there will be a heartbreak that's going to become your way. But whatever happens, even if things will not go your way, you can still turn this around and make it as positive. Even there are some people who's going to try to bring you down, hurt you, and, you know, scrutinize you. Well, screw them, you know. You are who you are, and you know where you're good at. You know what you're capable of. You know what you're made of. Okay, you're made of steel and you are, you're much better than you think and you're smarter than you think. Okay, when there are some people who will be hurting you, so what? You know, scrap them off, omit them in your list and there are some more good people out there that will be, you know, who will believe in you and who will support you to stand up during the times that you're down. And when it comes to your workplace, you will be brewing something like a project, new ideas, um, you know, uh, something that your company will be benefiting from or something that hasn't been discovered or made yet. Okay. You know, most of the Capricorns are actually very invented minded. Okay. Or very uh, inventive or they're very um, creative. Okay. So that's why your bosses and your companies loves being with you or loves um mentoring you because they know that they can always get something out of your creative juice and they're not going to get tired of mentoring you and supporting you because you're also loyal and faithful and in the month of may success achievement completion mm, that's going to be very good and you will also be signing a new contract you know it looks like there is Something that your company will be making you sign and making you commit. Uh, possibly a new promotion or a new position that you'll be getting. And you'll be very happy because you have achieved so far. Even though the 2019 for some Capricorns have been really, really drastic and dreary. And in the month of May. Uh, sorry, in the month of June. You will be feeling a little bit emotional, well, heartfelt, you know, a little bit depressed, alone, isolated. And you feel like, why is it that nobody is happy for me? Why is it that my family isn't really congratulating me? Or they're not even happy for me? You see, Capricorn, this is all with your life pass. You can't really expect your family especially or some other people that we are very close to to be happy for us. But whenever that we are the one, you know, that... Uh, um, 
that will be giving something to them <laughs> they're so happy and they do appreciate you but not all the time you should bribe people with material stuff or with things that they can benefit from because it's like you're buying love let them love you when you have nothing and let them love you when you you know when you also have something to give but just you know but just hopefully they will just wait for you to give it at your own will at your own pace not because that they want you to do it or to give it all right and when it comes to your workplace or when it comes to your careers and finances looks like someone is stealing something from you or someone will be lying to you be very careful in believing in sales thing or buying something during this month because definitely someone will be deceiving you or tr will be tricking you just to get what they want from you now in the month of july you'll be feeling a little bit limited and a little bit um let's say um trapped and you're starting to look outside the fence and you feel like you know you're you're just a little bit being let's say a little bit depressive okay but there are also some things that you also need to learn some things from the past new things new new knowledge could be that you just need to read some books you need some inspirational thing and you just need to do some stuff that you will be growing learning and expanding your skills and your experiences being limited is only in the mind okay you just need to look the other way around because maybe that you're just looking at the wrong way and that there is another direction that you need to heed and that you need to pay attention to now in the month of august there will be some things that you will be spilling or that you will be losing um expect that you'll be a little bit clumsy you know this month because um, you feel like you, you will be overly confident and because of the three things that you'll be losing it could be clients opportunities people you know or deals that you feel like or that you thought that you're gonna get it because you're overly confident about yourself but unfortunately it slipped by your hands and there is something that you need to learn from that but whatever happens, even if it will crumble down, you can always make a brand new beginning because the Three of Pentacles actually came out in your workplace or in your work position. All right. There will be some new things that you'll be starting or you will be starting all over again. And you will be starting with a much bigger, better ideas and better courage. And in the month of August, oh, sorry, September, there is somebody from the past that will be coming back into your life. And this is the one that you're really destined to be with someone that is your real soulmate and someone that you've been like more and more to or more you know more um let's say more used to someone who knows you so well inside and out and someone that you've been so comfortable being with so this is the soulmate cards okay the soulmate card and i feel like finally you'll be reunited with somebody that you really want to be with and that you've been thinking for a long period of time now if you actually go back to you know to the cards that first flipped and to the second card that flipped so you will know what i'm trying to say and in the month of uh, uh, sorry in, in this month as well when it comes to your works and finances you will be gaining much more momentum and finances during this time and you will be very happy to finally splurge and you know shop for yourself and treat yourself um a little bit because uh you need to love yourself you know and you also need to use your money for yourself not just to treat out other people and in the month of october destiny calls and it seems like your world is almost complete except that there are some things when it comes to your workplace that you know you're feeling a little bit um not really not really struggling to complete it but you feel like you're getting a little bit bored you know you want something new you want new experience you want a new drift and you want a new you know spin in your workplace and this is where you should find a new way okay even if you have to come up with another idea with your boss you know that your boss will be listening to you anyway and in the month of november there are some things that you need to ponder and that you need to you know that you need to um 
think about, analyze, and that you also need to heed. All right. Now, and you also need to be a little bit more practical and logical when it comes to your dreams and ambitions and you'll be taking an action against somebody who will be obscuring you or who will be going against you when it comes to your workplace you'll be putting somebody into their place and this is a younger air sign and in the month of december be very careful and watch your back that even though that you will have that you'll be drinking your cup of success during this month and you will be getting a lot of yes into your questions wishes and desires know that there will be someone who will try to bring you down and who will try to steal something from you like smiling right in front of you and then when you turn your back they're going to be stabbing you okay be very careful because someone will be betraying you during this month but in overall this is going to be a very good and abundant month for you all right anyway that's it for you for this month um capricorn if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you